welcome back to today's video which is going to be a Primark haul. If you're new around here, my name is Evie and I am a mum to a nine month old little girl called Matilda. Um, and if you're new, not new around here then, hi, hello and welcome back. I'd love you to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button which is either here or here. That would mean a lot to me. And then I'm also on Instagram and I do daily vlogs on there and I will insert the handle for my Instagram here. So yeah, just went into Primark today and I managed to spend £133. Um, I went to a different Primark, one that I've never really been to, I've maybe been there once or twice, but I just sort of fancy the change. So I came away with a big bag, oh, like this. And I'm just gonna show you what I brought. I got a little bit of everything, a bit of beauty, jewelry, home, um, I didn't get any baby though, it was such a big Primark, it's three floors high and literally by the time we got to the second floor I was exhausted and I couldn't carry the basket anymore. So I haven't got any baby bit but I've got a bit from everywhere else. So if you want to see what I brought for May's Primark haul then keep on watching. So the first thing I got were these little espresso cups and these were £4. And they're sort of in like pastel colours, so you've got like a white one, a grey one, a pink one, and then like a duck egg blue one. I love these. I don't love coffee, so I just thought, I'm going to buy them. I'll find some other use for them, whether it's putting in, I don't know, a little bit of yoghurt on the side with my granola in the morning, or just like a little bit of like a little hot chocolate in the morning, or some out pro milk when I'm back on Slimming World I'm trying to be healthy um, I just thought they were really cute and they'd come in really handy and they are very Instagrammable the next thing I got was this hand dispenser and this was £3 I thought this would just look really nice in my kitchen it's got like this triangly pattern on the plasticky part and then the pump is like rose gold and I just think that's absolutely lovely the next thing I got was some pyjamas, they're just pink ones that say relax, I'm a Disney princess and then they got this lovely like rose pattern down the side of the arm, I'm not sure how well that's showing up but they've got a rose pattern down the arm um, the top was £10 and I also got the bottoms which just say Disney Princess and then I've got like, the rose pattern down the leg and the bottoms were £10 as well so £20 for one new set of pyjamas the next thing I got was this green blouse just absolutely loved this and I've seen a lot of people posting about these so I thought I'd try one out myself I love like the tortoiseshell sort of buttons I love the colour, I don't really have anything green um, it's got like a sort of tie at the back like that that was £10 as well I'll show a few everything on at the end anyway because I know I can't get it in properly but yeah I've sort of got like a sort of a peplum bottom so I thought it would hide the mum tum that is still visibly there the next blouse I got was this one this was also £10 and it's sort of a blue colour it's got a knot tie at the front and then it's got this lovely like floral flowery pattern on the front with like poppies and blue I think they're bluebells or and like blossom just absolutely love that and I think for work or with jeans in the summer that would be absolutely beautiful I got this perfume which is the Amber Noir I think they're trying to copy Jo Malone from like what the packaging looks like and the names so I did try it, I thought I'd give it a whirl. It was £3 for a bottle of this size. Um, just thought it'd be really handy to pop into my handbag, to be honest. And it did smell quite nice. Yeah, it does smell like the Jo Malone one. I highly doubt it's going to last the same amount of time as the Jo Malone ones do in the day. But for £3, I wasn't going to say no. I then got some like little beauty bits, so I got a, a bubble face mask that was £3, I think that's just meant to like clean out your pores, 
Yeah, it just says it's like meant to get a clean skin. The language is all on the back is all in Japan, so I guess it's sort of like a Japan thing, but then Primark have translated it here into like English. Um, then the next face mask I got was this Coenzyme Q10 one. That was £2 and that's meant to be good for nourishing and soothing. And then I saw this and I just thought oh, I'll give it a go and it's like a three step sort of body, I don't know, body ritual. And like step one is a cleansing wash. Step two is an exfoliator and then step three is a moisturiser. So just that would be really nice if when I'm having like a beauty night I can just pull this out and I know I've got everything I need in like just one pack really. So yeah, love that. I got some of these Touch of Silver hair treatments. Doesn't actually say on them how much they were. Hang on, let me just check the receipt. Oh, such a silver cone treatment. They were two pounds for three. Now, for some reason, I thought you could just use these on blonde hair, but on the packaging, it doesn't actually say for what colour hair, so it just has for damaged and like dry hair. So yeah, I thought I'd just put them on the ends. I've got hair extensions anyway, so they're normally okay, but just to give them sort of like a freshen it up. Oh, uh, oops just noticed it says for blonde platinum or white hair definitely don't have any of them do you know what i might just still give it a go what's the worst that can happen hmm <laughs> okay the next thing was this fake tan mask and this was four pounds fifty not entirely sure like why this is so special i just like the sound that it said a mask so I'm going to try that out tonight. I've had this same make but in the light to medium one before and I didn't really think it gave that much colour. So this time I've gone for medium to dark and hopefully that will give me a bit more of like a tan. So just ready for summer really. Okay I've got this lipstick for 90p and it's Lustre but the colour of it is Rosewood and Wav. So I'm not sure that's going to pick up on there. It's just so small. No. Yeah. It's called Rosewood Moire. And I, if I can get into it, I shall swatch it for you now. Ooh. It's quite nice. Well, yeah, I like that. So that is the Rosewood Moire. Not this one there. That's actually really nice, and it's so moisturising. Yeah, I really like that. Mmm, I like that. Okay, then I got some earrings. These were £3 and they're just like sort of tassels. They've got like a gold disc and then like a pearly bit holding them together. Just thought they'd be really cute on with like a nice plain simple top. Love them. I picked Matilda up this mirror. Hmm, not entirely sure why. She just likes having things in her hands to play with and to look at. So I thought if I get her this, then she's got something to play with and look at herself all the time. So I just thought it's like a bonus, really. And that was one pound fifty. The next bit of makeup I got was this bronze total face palette. That was six pounds, but it's just like lovely inside like you've got all your eyeshadows like all down here I guess you've got like a blush and a contour and then like two different types of highlight so I just thought that was absolutely I know it's not showing up well because the plastic's reflecting 
but like there's just so many like lovely colours in that. Yeah, I love it. That was six pounds. Then I got two pairs of sunglasses. These ones were three pounds. I mean, hmm, am I cool enough for these? I feel quite big. I don't know. I just really liked, like the colour of them. I don't know. They'll be alright anyway, just for driving. I can put them in the car, can't I? So those ones were three pounds. And then I got these ones as well, which were three pounds. And these sort of more like rose goldy, blush pinky sort of tones. And I've got sort of like a different shape. That's them ones. I think I prefer these ones. Hmm, my corner. Not too sure. But they will do. It'll be alright. Sunglasses, aren't they, really, at the end of the day? Especially when we live in England. I'm not going away this year. I don't really ever wear them. Apart from when I'm in the car or if I just want to put them on the head. Just to look cool. <laughs> I then saw these and they're like microfiber cloths. Now, I've never seen these in Primark before, so I picked them up. There were different colours, but I got sort of like the blush pink and the greeny grey colours they were £1.50 for five but I don't know how good they'll be but we'll give them a go so if you follow me over on Instagram I'll do an update on using them and of like how good a quality they are but I don't know they just feel like the normal ones to be honest so I'm sure they'll be fine okay I then picked up this a blouse this one sort of like a yellow -y colour and it's got like flower patterns over it it's got a keyhole neck which I think when it's on it'll be like quite a high neck it's got like a ruffle fluff, I was going to say fluffle a ruffle around like the neckline and then like the list leaves the sleeves have got like ruffles like halfway down and then they sort of like fan out at the end. I will try it all on after to show you what it all looks like on but I'm just trying to show you what I brought now. And that was... That's weird, that says 13 euros. How bizarre. I wonder if I got charged. What is that? Like twelve pound? It's all right. I then picked up this blouse. Now I've got this in plain black and then black and like sort of blue stripes. And I saw this and I thought I absolutely love this on and it fits beautifully. This shirt does, but it's just sort of got like a wrap over it. It's going to be really hard to show. It's sort of like a wrap over at the front and then it ties round and then the sleeves are sort of like ruched, like gathered. And then this one's obviously blue with white polka dots. But I thought like in the summer, with jeans on, my hair's all done, a bit of a tan, makeup going on, that'll just look absolutely beautiful. Um, and that was £12. picked up this blouse as well I'm not too sure how well this will fit because there's literally like no stretch in it but it's like this so it's got like a lighter blue stripe on the main part of the shirt and then the tie bit is sort of like a darker colour it's like grey and white so I quite like the contrast in the colours and obviously it ties at the front and that was £10 so it might be quite flattering I'm not sure if it's going to fit. I mean, like, the arms are quite big. But we shall see. I picked up both of these for Matilda for in the bath. This one's just like the wash mitt. 
she called Marie? I think she's called Marie, that cat. So yeah, that's just like a little wash mat like this. She loves faces on anything, so I just thought, yeah, I could play with that when we're washing. And then I got these puppet ones as well. This was three pounds. Honestly, I'm not too, I don't think you should be able to choke on them, but I wouldn't leave her alone with these ones, I don't think. But these are just sort of like the bath time finger puppets. And these are like the princess ones. We got the princess, the rose, the castle, a frog, and a shoe. So I guess it's like Cinderella, isn't it, really? And for some reason, that reminds me of like, Beauty and the Beast. I don't know. The fairy tale finger puppets. My phone. I'm not too sure what that's doing on there. And then I picked up these pyjamas. I got them in an extra large because I don't know. I just like my pyjamas nice and big. And it's like this sort of florally shirt like that. And it's like silk material. It's got nice big dark buttons down the front. And then the bottoms are just like the same material, same pattern. They're long, flowy legs, like tight at the top, but they look huge. I don't know, we'll see. But for the set, it was £14, so I thought it can't really go wrong if they're nice and comfy. And that is everything. I shall insert a clip now of me trying everything on but I hope you enjoyed that video and you enjoyed the little bits that I picked up from Primark for my May Primark haul um yeah maybe I'll do like I don't know a Primark haul every month maybe go and sit go in and see what the new bits are but if you loved watching this haul make sure you give my video a thumbs up and like I said at the start, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. That would mean the world to me. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Okay, so this is one of the blouses on. That's got sort of like the contrast waist. I think you can see the colour a little bit better now. Um, I really got this one with leggings now. I quite like it. Fits quite nice. Sort of like a cropped sort of so like it doesn't come fully down so you'd want high waisted jeans on which I would anyway with being a mum but yeah it feels quite nice like the necklace on maybe yeah, quite like it yeah definitely like this one this one's a keep Okay, so this is like the polka dot one on, and again, I absolutely love it. It fits so nicely. I love the pattern of this one. I think it's something a bit different with like a nice bold lip. It would look really nice. Um, yeah, fits really nicely. Love the sleeves. I love sort of where it finishes, like on me, it goes quite low down. And then obviously you can just tie the bow wherever you want. However, if you could have just seen me trying to get this on, it was the biggest fuss I've ever made in my life. But I finally got it on, and I think just someone had tried it on before and tied it up wrong. But now that it's on, yeah, it's easy to put on. It's really comfy, I feel like I can move in it. Yeah, would you like this one as well? Okay, this is the other blouse. Obviously, I've only got the one with leggings again, so please excuse me. But this is it on. Yeah, again, quite comfy. I like the knot detail there. I like the sleeves, they're like long enough to cover, cover up any wobbly bits. Neck on it is quite high. Yeah, just generally comfy again. So, another goodbye. Okay, this is the green blouse on. I'm not too sure about this one. I didn't actually realise that it was some sort of like cut up. Uh, I really like the colour, I haven't really got anything green, but um, I'm not too sure about that. I don't know what it would be like with some high waisted jeans on, I just sort of feel like, are you a bit self conscious with that? Or was it just to learn to love your body, sort of? Top. 
Uh, let me know what you think down below. Oh, which knows. I'm not too sure about that. I'm not too sure like where the bust fits in it, right? Uh, I'm not too sure on this one. But let me know what you think down below. Um, definitely no. I can't even get my arms in it properly, I don't think. It feels so tight. It feels like huge here. But then like no, I can't even move. I'm like, what has gone on? And this is that one that was like in your rows as well. Hmm, yeah, I don't really understand. These are the pajamas. Could have got a fatty, like a smaller size. These just feel quite big, but I'm not going to bother about taking them back because it'll be nice to have them comfy. But yeah, they do just feel quite big. But I love like the pattern, I love the buttons, plenty of room. Yeah feel really comfy in these even if they are a little on the big side I think I prefer to have them big they're even like a bit too long but we'll be okay they're just pajamas these are the like Disney princess pajamas these feel really comfy I love the pattern um, these were like the skinny leg I think I'm honest, they're quite see-through but you can see my black granny pants, I'm not too proud of that. <laughs> yeah, but no, oh, it's just horrendous. I mean, like I said, they're only pyjamas, but... I don't really fancy answering the door to the postman when he'll be able to see my pyjamas. I'm not too sure. But yeah, they are really comfy. And I do really like them, but I guess it's just wear white pants when you think the postman's going to knock on the door. But yeah. So that is everything I tried on. So the only thing I didn't like was that yellow, this one, the yellow blouse. And it's the one that was in your row, so I'm just wondering if it come from like, I don't know, Ireland? Maybe? I don't know. But that one's definitely going back. Apart from that, I love everything else. I'm going to keep it. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. And again, bye!